Right now, I'm in the finishing throws of getting the, cha the you know, the RF chassis clean and, and a couple of spots de-rusted. Yeah, probably another 15, 20 minutes. I'll clean up all this and then give it a good, uh, give it a good wash down with some, with you know, with a, a little bit of alcohol and, and this here brush. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to go ahead and paint it. But before I do, I'll wash it down one more time, clean it all up with lacquer thinner. Once we get it done with, you know, paint it up with lacquer thinner. I'll have everything taped off with paper and tape and everything except for that. And uh, we'll go ahead and put some primer on it. And then we'll go ahead and put some silver paint on it. Alright, that pretty much wraps that up. I just decided to uh, put a coat of uh, uh, Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Enamel. I've never tried this uh, clear enamel by Rust-Oleum before. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and just put it all over the... Uh, tuner as usual what that does is keeps it from rusting further and uh, I've got everything taped off that I don't want to that I don't want to have the paint on each of these is a, something I solder a wire to we don't we don't want paint on that I've covered the blades I want all the blades covered and anything else uh, anywhere that needs needs to be covered has been covered to include the gears in the front okay Take your time on your tuner. Your tuner is the heartbeat of your radio. No tuner, no radio. That's true for a lot of the parts, but this one, this one's the big one, okay? Uh, we got us a couple of packages in the other day for this old radio. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and open it up. Look at the size of this thing. That's a pretty big package right there. It doesn't weigh much. Got, I guess mostly got something rattling in there. And then this is just an envelope, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and open up this one first. About ready to, we're about ready to open this thing. There's lots of wrapping around that thing. This thing came all the way from China. Unbelievable. I think it's about ready trying to get open all by itself. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> that old joke goes way back. Young people don't know what that is. Well, my goodness, look what we have. We have two 25 watt, 10 ohm resistors. All that for two little 25 watt 10 ohm resistors. Oh, we got a little note here. What does the note say? Let's see here, the note says, I love you, American. Come marry me. No, I'm not going to do that. Nope, sorry. What we have here is a brand new dial from Radio Days, radiodays.com. And I was even lucky to find out that this dial existed. Uh, the person who was instrumental. And the whole thing was Greg Van Beek. You remember who Greg Van Beek was? He's the DJ on the Nostalgia Radio Time Show on 1420, The Breeze. You know, he's the guy that interviewed me a while back on the radio show. Our radio is a 37-2670. And I looked all over for a dial for a 37-2670. Well, Greg contacted me and he said, you know, John, Radio Days offers a dial. But they have a 382670. It might be a typo. And uh, you might want to check with them. So I did. And I found out. He told me. He said, you know, the part number is the same for the 372670 and the 382670. Same part number. But he said it might have just been a typo. Maybe they meant to put 372670 on the uh, order page on their website. Well, I got checking around. Sure enough, you know, there is, or there was, and there is a 382670 as well. So I searched around on the internet for that and I came up on a, a, a web page that had a picture of the dial or a pretty good close up of part of the dial. This is the uh, website I found. It's uh, sold at the radio attic. It says Philco Radio 382670. And it looks almost identical. It, 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 as far as we know, I checked with Brendan. Brendan looked around for any particulars on it. He said, as far as he knows, the only thing that changed between the 37 and the 38 was the electrical cord. <laughs> they made a rubber one in 38. Well, that's really interesting because it looks really, that's a nice radio. I hope mine, when I get done, looks half as good as that one. That's an excellent job on that radio, I'll tell you. Anyway, you come on down. There's a picture of the top. Looks excellent. Look at that wood patterns and everything, those wood grains. Isn't that nice? Boy, that's that's really slick. Really slick. And you come on down, and I had a picture of the dial. Lucky me. I had a picture of the dial. 
So what I did was I took the old dial, the broken one, and I kind of held it up, you know, and spun it around till it was in the same position as this one right here. And everything lined up exactly all the way down to the five bands, all the way down. I said, well, well, well. So I went ahead and I ordered the, you know, Radio Days has a good return policy. I wasn't concerned about it whatsoever if it turned out to be the wrong one. So I ordered the 38 2670. It was not a typo. And it finally came in. So that's what we have now, folks. We have a uh, nice brand new dial. And I think some of the writing, I, I know one thing that's missing from it. Let me get my old pencil here. This radio down here had these like little lines, little stripy lines. I don't know if you can see them or not. Get down closer there. Anyway, they had these, these little lines, but you know, decorative lines that show up in the window. But I don't think I'm going to worry about it. It's Everything else is perfect. As far as I'm concerned, this is a done deal. Thanks to Greg Van De uh, Beek and thanks to Radio Days. They did a great job on this dial. I appreciate it. We finally reached the point where we can start putting a little paint on this thing. Let's hope we can turn this uh, this thing into a nice looking flower. First thing we're going to do is we're going to shoot a little bit of this uh, light gray automotive primer on it. Let's see if we can't get back quite a ways here now when I do it. I don't want to get on top of it. Let's see if we can't get that thing looking halfway decent. And then we're going to shoot some uh, some silver on it. Incidentally, each one of these, the inside surface of each one of these clips has been taped off. The reason being that the tube shield goes down inside them and, and uh, you know, the clips hold it in. And the clips uh, have to have metal to metal uh, connection with the tube shields. Holy mackerel, I just sprayed with this uh, Rust-Oleum Bright Coat metallic finish. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, you look at the lid. Now you look at what, what it came out as on that chassis. Man, that is, that's a little too, that's too shiny. That is too shiny. We have to tone that down with a different kind of paint. Also, I had to spray this stuff from like way back. You get too close, boy, it just came blasting out of there. So if anybody ever uses this stuff, bright coat, be careful. Stand back. All right, I think I'm going back to my old Rust-Oleum appliance epoxy. It's the old standby. It's kind of a silver. You have to, again, you have to kind of stand back a little bit to put it on. And that'll tone it down, I think. I don't need to completely spray it, probably, because it's... Let me see. Oh, yeah, that, that's coming up a little better. I like that a lot better. Not quite as shiny. Actually, you know, that epoxy appliance paint over the top of that shiny silver, that gave it a pretty nice look. I love happy accidents, you know. <laughs> Before I go any further with this, what I want to do is get the lid back down, get it secure or, or somewhat secured, maybe one or two little tiny screws. I want to get the tuner on and hook up the tuner with gator wires and then put the tubes back in and make sure this radio is still playing before I completely button up this lid. Well, Murphy has finally struck. I have no idea what's going on, but you're looking at a menagerie of gator wires here. I gator wired everything back together after I closed the lid on this RF chassis. Gator wired it all up, hooked it to the antenna, speaker, no stations. Won't tune in anything. Don't ask me why. Anyway, we'll go ahead and end the video here. What I plan to do is open the chassis back up to remove the lid and no telling maybe I smashed a wire underneath when I was putting the lid back down it was kind of a tight fit I don't know I don't know what the problem is could be anything so we'll see what happens uh, I, just, I didn't want to make you all wait any longer for a video on this thing so now you know the status it's not working <laughs> but you know we don't worry about such things until next time this is John I kind of messed up. I was getting ready to answer a message that I received, and I cannot remember the name of the person who sent it. But he wanted to know about getting a dial for a Westinghouse, I think it's a WR28. Nice radio, by the way. 
and he wanted to know where he could possibly get one. You know, he said, I've ordered dials. He was kind of wondering where, where he could get one. Well, I'll tell you what, here's what you do. You know, if you still have the dial left, uh, take it, measure its diameter, scan it, and then send a message to Radio Days and ask them if they can make you a dial. And they'll tell you what the cost is. If they can't make it, then uh, you might try Mark Opat. Uh, Opat, he might be able to do it. And if that doesn't work, uh, I guess you're probably the only the only thing you got left is to try to find a parts radio or find someone that has uh, one that they're willing to part with. Try the antique radio for them. I'm sorry that I, I I clicked on something here too quickly, and that's how I I lost your message. I apologize for that. And so as not to end this video on a totally negative note, I want you to, not all, you'll notice all the gator wires are gone. Let's see what happens when I turn the volume up this time. I do believe we have WSM there. Let me get over here. That's really good. Plays really good now. Let's do a little tuning here. Now you see why we don't worry about such things. We fix the problem. We always fix the problem. It may take a day, a month. It may take six months. We will always fix the problem. There's no rush to any of this. No biggie, no sweat, no big deal. It's all a piece of cake. Trust me, folks. Okay, uh, let me see. There was one other thing I wanted to cover. What was it? Oh, yeah. Probably won't have another video up for at least a week. It'll be probably more than a week because I'm going to start de-rusting everything. I'm going to have to take these off so I can get around here. De-rust, 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 paint, paint, paint. And uh, hopefully the next time you see this thing, we'll have more painted than just the top of the RF chassis and the uh, tuner all cleaned up, okay? I'm going to work, you know, I, I do have a job and I do have things that the wife wants to have done. So I can only get to it as I can. But I'll, I'll do my best to try to get a video back in oh, by a week, I mean seven days, okay?